Hey guys, so I am back with another video. I know I've been gone, honey. I've been gone, I've been gone, I've been gone. It's been been for very, very, very good reason. But I am back with another video, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys some hair. And I haven't done a drawstring ponytail in a while, but I am gonna be getting into this one. This is usually different from the drawstring ponytails that I usually get. That's why I'm so excited about it because I usually never wear drawstring ponies that have like these types of curls like that twist it almost giving me like that twist out type of definition um but we'll get into that um this drawstring pony is from a brand called nia wigs i will have a link down in the description box for you guys to check out if you are interested and if you do end up wanting to check it out definitely check out the coupon code which is renell 10 so you can save some coins but yeah let's hop into the video i'm going to show you guys the hair fresh out the box what i did and then i will, I will be back at the end of the video with my thoughts on this ponytail yeah let's hop into the video Okay, so this is the packaging that the hair came in. It came with two little hair ties, scrunchy things, and then it came in this nice purple satin bag for storage along with the hair care instructions, which is really nice to always have. It does come with an extra like adjustable like pin thing if it falls off and it comes wrapped in a hairnet, which is nice so that it stays nice and neat through transportation. This is the hair. It is super curly I love it if you guys want to think of a reference this hair reminds me of like a twist out like the texture of it um the cap or the I guess it's the cap is very very sturdy very great quality and it has two hair clips for the top and bottom left right however you guys apply your ponytails I do it top to bottom um, and then I just go in, I spritz it with a little bit of water before I started raking my fingers through just to kind of fluff it out. I didn't want to disrupt the curls too much because it's a brand new ponytail and I don't want it to look messy on day one. So I'm just fluffing it out, raking it my fingers through just to kind of give it a little volume for when I apply it. And I'm just raking it through and then I'm going to apply it, show you guys how I applied it to my hair. Um... I already slicked my hair back and stuff off camera. You guys have seen me do that plenty of times. If you haven't, I will have a video linked in the cards so you guys can check out and you guys can see that on your own time. But that's my hair slicked back. I'm doing a low ponytail as you guys, you know, as I mentioned, I'll mention in the end of the video. I just go in, apply it to the top and just pull the drawstring as tight as I can and just wrap the excess string around the ponytail. You don't really need a bobby pin to secure it. Just kind of tuck it in and it'll stay just fine. If not, you know, you guys can always apply a little bobby pin just to secure it a little bit more. Then I just kind of take a small piece and wrap it around the base of the ponytail. I always do this with drawstring ponytails because I find that it looks a lot more seamless. So that's why I do that. And yeah, 360. And you guys see it's so pretty. I okay, love it. So you guys made it this far. And if you guys made it this far and you did not subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on, what are you doing with life? Like just hit it now. I know I've been gone, but there are things to come. You know, sometimes you need a break. Sometimes we're focusing. Sometimes we're reorganizing. There's a lot of things going on in my life, honey. So just subscribe. If you made it this far, hit that subscribe button on. Turn your notifications on. And let's just keep it moving. But let's get into this hair and what my thoughts, what I think about it. Um, I really like this ponytail. Um, this is like one of those ponytails, like if I was feeling... Um, if I had my bun up, I probably would put it like in one of those little messy top knot buns. Um, but today I didn't want to do that because I've been wearing high buns very often. So I kind of wanted to adjust my hair and put it more towards the back. Um, just so like there isn't any type of, you know, if you wear your hair in a style too long, you know, it starts causing breakage. So I had to readjust where I laid my ponytail. Um, so that's what I did today. I love this thing. Literally, I took it out the box. The hair already comes washed and cleaned and everything like that. So I did just spritz it with water just so that I can kind of separate it and make it a little bit bigger. I could have done a little bit more separation, but I didn't want to ruin the definition too much 
yet um, because this is a brand new ponytail so I did want to keep some of that definition it's definitely giving me like twist out vibes like that definition you get from a twist out so I do like that the texture of the hair is so soft guys the hair uh, it's so soft and I just put water on here I did not put any moisturizer I didn't put any type of cream oil nothing I just sprinkled it with water so I can rake my fingers through to fluff it out and that is it you don't need to put a lot of product on hair like this especially drawstring ponytails maybe like if you're doing like a deep cleaning or something like that after you've worn it a bunch of times but I wouldn't say apply a lot of product because it doesn't need it water would suffice you know and it, depending on how often you're wearing it you're probably not wearing it months and months and months on end to be honest like let's be honest we're not wearing drawstring ponytails months and months on ends we're wearing it for an occasion we're wearing it for a day two days at most a week something like that you don't need to like overdo it with this so i love it i love the texture of it um there weren't like any grays like in the hair when i looked through i didn't see any type of like grays not that that's a really big deal for me because i am you know i ain't no spring chicken but it didn't have any of that in it um i love it the ends look super neat i kind of fluffed this one out a little bit too much um but nothing nothing that a little water can't help but i love the texture of it it's definitely different from a drawstring ponytail i usually get. usually i get the ones that are like that blowout material or kind of hair because um, that's usually when I put my hair up in a bun or those types of things my hair is blown out you know so I wanted to try something different this is a 16 inch this one is the afro kinky drawstring ponytail it's 16 inches it's kind of like that 4b 4c kind of texture that it's giving off which it does like if you guys are like 4b 4c and you do a twist out this 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 is usually what your twist out looks like it looks like this to be honest with you if you do like those defined twist outs that y'all be doing that I don't be doing this is how it looks okay so I love how it looks I'm gonna do another full turn even though I did it earlier I'm gonna do another full turn so you guys can see it in its entirety it's giving me baddie it's giving me you know I can throw this on to go to work I can throw this on to go on a date something quick protective style um, I love things like this during the winter where I can protective style and to literally just keep my hair slicked back and tucked away so I love this pony I'm definitely gonna check out some other styles they have half wigs headband wigs all those types of things um, definitely love this especially if you need to give your hair in your ends a little bit of a break definitely check it out but again if you guys like it if you like this video definitely thumbs up and subscribe also check out the links in the description box if you are interested in where I got this from and I will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel and this video and I will see you guys next time bye guys